Hi and welcome back. This is part three of my reading for my very close friend where we just wanted some more confirmation on her soul connection. And I really do think that we have enough confirmation already. So to avoid asking the same things over and over again, we just have to look at how we phrase the questions and things like that. But I have basically been asking it a bit differently every time. Like we already know the soul connection is there. We're not doubting it. We're not doubting who the person is. But we want to see what is blocking it or what is making it stay stuck. What is stopping it from progressing at the moment. And basically what it came down to was that there is divine timing at play. And there is this constant message coming in that perhaps you need to be the one to make the first move. I mean, you have made the first move already, technically. You'll know what I'm referring to. But I'm feeling like after the retrograde, you should really make an effort to be a bit more direct. Subtle, but direct. So we are definitely not doubting the connection. We're not doubting it's there. We need a little bit more patience as the cards have shown, but it's definitely coming your way. So we are getting some advice now and then we are going to be done with the reading soon. We see the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. So just keep working on everything. Keep working on yourself. Keep working on the connection. Maybe you've stopped. There was something that you were doing that you stopped working on. But the universe is saying don't stop. Don't stop working towards your goal. Don't give up on it. Don't get discouraged. Don't worry about what other people say if they're negative. Don't let them get to you. Because ultimately it is your life. And it's not theirs. The devil reversed card of Capricorn. It speaks about toxic bonds. And I feel like it's just saying that you, you're definitely moving away from toxic people, toxic connections, codependent relationships, things like that. Any other message? There's the emperor again, which, like I said, can refer to a father figure or a grandparent. Or it is someone who has been helping you and guiding you along the way, like a teacher or a mentor. Someone that you really look up to and respect. And I'm feeling like um, that card keeps coming up. Or that aspect surrounding a third person who's kind of like a teacher, that keeps coming up. So obviously I know the person that it's referring to. But I don't know how the person really fits in. Because you've kind of made him aware of the connection, or you've told him about your feelings at least. So I don't know if there's a message about him specifically that you need to somehow speak to him again about the situation. But then I'm scared he's going to end up saying something discouraging and then you know, you start doubting yourself all over again. <laughs> there is that same card. That same card, that Three of Pentacles, I actually wanted to mention it now with the Emperor card. Because it's the same sort of third person energy, like a friend, a mutual connection. I don't know if it's just a, a sign that you need to send him a message again. And say that, listen, I'm worried that the relationship is a bit stagnant at the moment. What do you think could be causing it? I mean, maybe he knows more about your person than you think. Look at this. Three with three. Three of ones with three of cups reversed. Wow. There will be a reason to celebrate in the near future. You're not seeing it right now. Someone is perhaps thinking about the future. Someone is at a distance from you. And three people are involved. So I don't feel like this is him being interested in another person. That's not what it's telling me. It could mean that there are three different aspects in his life that he's dealing with, like work, 
career family uh, work and career go together maybe let's say romance career family um, it's a feeling of getting everything in order but look at this you have all all the number threes in this reading well except three of swords so here the number three is very evident very prominent I should say Queen of Swords reversed again you in the position of needing to maybe communicate with him but then we said that if people give you advice or they say something that could seem a little bit harsh and it really affects you in a negative way then try not to let it get to you I know it's easier said than done but ultimately this is your dream and people are not living your life Someone is done resisting something. It's like they've resisted the urge to move forward. They've resisted telling someone how they truly feel. But now they can't resist anymore. So maybe it is saying that in the future you will reach a point where you will say that, you know, I can't resist it anymore. I can't fight the feelings. I have to just let go of the ego and go for it. The Hermit, maybe he still has that inner work that needs to be done, the shadow work, some inner healing that needs to be done. Definitely with the Hierophant there, a message about spirituality. It's like when it's in reverse, someone is denying the spiritual aspect of their life or they're denying, neglecting, neglecting the spiritual aspect of their life neglecting the fact that there's a higher power involved and that their life actually could be very much fated to an extent that this connection is fated and look at that wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck I just said fated and I swear I didn't look at the bottom of the deck and look what is underneath this card just have a look four of ones again twin flame 11 11 card Nine of Swords reversed again. So the end of anxiety, the end of restlessness, the end of uncertainty. Everything is really working out for you. And this is just more confirmation. I'm totally blown away right now. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I just feel like divine timing is at play and we cannot rush things. But don't feel discouraged. You're still on the right path. Everything is still happening behind the scenes. You have not gone off course. Everything is working out for you as it should. Thank you for watching. Thanks to everyone else for watching. Thank you for all the continued support. I really appreciate it.